morning, y'all. Happy Turkey Month. As a teacher, I am thankful for a lot of things. I have the best partner teacher, best school, best students. They're all amazing. And I'm very thankful for Teachers Pay Teachers. And they did not ask me to say this, but I was going through the website and I was checking out some activities for the Thanksgiving Math Centers. And I thought, hey, I will just do a video on some cool resources that I found for free that you could use in your math centers during this turkey Thanksgiving season. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, for kindergarten through second, I'm going to start with this freebie by Special Teacher for Special Kids. So it comes with some really neat worksheets for students to count, make tally marks, and then color. And then it also has a pattern sheet where students cut out the shapes and paste them in the correct spots. There also are some cards that uh, you can cut out and I had students color. And so students can create their own patterns using these cards and this could also help them on this worksheet. This freebie is called Roll a Turkey. It's by Kindergarten Squared. And you have two different sheets. They just roll a dice, look at the number, and draw that part. And if they're working with other students in their group, then they can take turns and see who is able to draw their whole turkey first. In the second page, they can actually roll two dice and practice adding. And then there's also this cute graphic organizer that students can do. Nicole Leib has a really nice freebie called Thanksgiving Skip Counting Puzzles. And there's six different puzzles and students just look at the numbers at the bottom and either skip count by two or by five to arrange the puzzle correctly. There are three puzzles for skip counting by two and three puzzles for skip counting by five. And for the prep work, I would cut out the whole puzzle, laminate, and then cut out the individual strips to make sure lamination doesn't get in the way of students putting the puzzle pieces together. The images are duplicates in skip counting by two and by five, so you would want to probably label them on the back either by numbers or color so that students know how to separate and organize them when they're finished. This adorable freebie is by Grade School Giggles. It's called Double Facts Matchup. And what students do is they can either individually try to make matches between doubles and their answer, or they can play concentration with other classmates. And when they make a match, there is a recording sheet for students to write down the answers. And there is also an answer sheet. Math Coaches Corner has a really nice freebie on missing add-ins. You have these problem cards and students choose a card. Then we have some 10 frame mats and you just get some counters. The first number was five. Place five in their 10 frame of one color. Then they'll look at the answer and go ahead and complete their 10 frame until they have the same total that is in their card. And then once that's done, they can count up and see what the add-in was to complete their problem. And she's provided some really neat worksheets. This freebie is called Thanksgiving Edition Activities by Barbara Kilburn. And basically in this activity, students create their own edition problems. There is a die template where you can create a die for students to use. Students roll the die and they have a match right here. They really have these cute Thanksgiving pictures and so students can use counters to place and create their problems or they can also use two Indians plus one pilgrim is equal to what and they have the recording sheet to record their problems and their answers. This size sequencing center is created by Miss Adams Classroom. There are these cards for students to order uh, by size and 
They're really cute. And I just love the graphics. Little Red Schoolhouse. She is a clip art artist on Teachers Pay Teachers and I love her clip art. It's so cute. This adorable little freebie is by Pink Cat Studio. She is also a clip art artist on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's just really cute students complete the graph by counting the shapes that are on the turkey. And they also need to be able to identify color words because they will complete the graph by coloring each shape with the right color according to the color key. Now this freebie is actually not math, it's more just color recognition and object identification, but I just think it's so adorable. It's by Mama's Monkeys and I'm actually going to use this with my Spanish immersion students, so this is, would be a good activity for foreign language teachers also. But you just have four cards, so this would be a center game, not whole group. And then you create these two spinners by just placing a brad fastener in here and a paper clip. And then you just spin it. Um, we'll say that was green. And excuse the coloration, discoloration, that's my printer, not the freebie quality. And then you spin the other spinner. And I got a pumpkin. So green pumpkin would be what students would search for on their card. This freebie is by 4th and 10 and as you can see I already set this up. I actually did this game last year and I just placed it in a file folder and then I was kind of tacky but I placed the materials, stapled them on the back. And Students can actually play this individually. Roll two dice and multiply the two numbers. I have a 4 and a 3 so that's 12 and then they will cover up the 12. And then they continue playing. Obviously, if they don't have a number left to mark, then they will have to roll again. But you can also make this two-player or have students play in teams. And so one would take one turn and cover a number, and then the team two would go and continue playing. And the first team to cover all of their numbers would be the winner. Super cute, and my students have loved this game so far. This freebie is called Multiplication Gobble Gum. It is by Sunny Days in second grade. And so you just need two dice and each student needs 10 markers. And you can either play in teams or just one person against one person. And they roll the die, multiply the numbers. Six times six is 36. And then they would place their uh, counter on that number. Now the difference in this game is that if somebody else rolls a 36, they could then put their marker on top, uh, their counter, excuse me, and the second counter on a number locks that number and now nobody else can land on this and white, whoever is team white, would win that space. So you just continue playing um, until somebody uses all of their 10 counters. The person who has locked the greater number of numbers would be the winner in this game. Jennifer Smith Sloan has a really fun freebie called Fraction Flip and it's kind of like war and she has these cards that print out with fractions on them and actually it's black and white to save ink so I just had some of my early finishers color them for me then you laminate them and just like war you um, divide the cards equally amongst each player and they place them in two stacks and then each player will flip over his fraction card. The student with the greatest fraction would um, win both cards so you just keep playing until all the cards are gone and the player with most cards wins the game. This next freebie is called Thanksgiving Word Problem Task Cards and it involves addition and subtraction, basic multiplication, and basic division, and it is by Free to Teach. So you get 16 task cards, and what I did was I just made three sets and laminated them and hole punched the corners so that I could place a ring around them and it comes with a recording sheet and it also has an answer key and I um, love using QR codes for my answer key for students to check themselves 
So what I did was I just created some QR codes and placed them um, in the appropriate spaces. Then when a student solves a problem, they will just use, we have iPods, and they will just scan it. And if they get it right, I have these Thanksgiving themed stampers, then they can just stamp that box. Okay, pin the feather on the turkey. This is by Classroom Game Nook. And there's actually four different sets of these, two math and two literacy. And I just printed out one of the math skill sets. And I just find these so adorable. It's these little turkeys. And then they have these feathers. And excuse the color print job, that was my printer. They just have to find which turkey uh, which feather goes with which turkey. Yeah, there is an addition, a subtraction, a division, and a multiplication problem. The only thing about this is the prep work trying to cut these guys out is a little tedious, but I think the clip art is just so cute, and it's by, the clip art is by Joy of Kindergarten, that it's definitely worth it, and I think my students are really gonna enjoy this. And an awesome added bonus is besides having the four games, there's also a template so you can design this game for uh, any skill in your classroom. This freebie is called Pumpkin Pie Fractions and Decimals, and it's by me, and I go by Flapjack. And students just match two puzzle pieces to create pumpkin pies that match. And the thing that I like about this is I'm really like things they're self-checking so the puzzles have different lines so when you make them you know students will automatically know if they're correct or not because it will fit okay here's one that is not math related but this is a fun activity if students just need to get out of their seats this is by once upon a substitute and so it's just the four corners game format if you're not familiar these are four different um, menu items and there's a menu right here for the students to look at. And you place one of these menu items in each of the corners of the classroom and you have a person who is going to be it. And so they have to close their eyes and the rest of the class separates into corners wherever they want to go. And then when the it person is ready, they call out one of the menu items and you have this for them to look at. And whoever was in the corner with that menu item has to go sit down and you continue playing. And when there's four people or less, then they have to always pick a different corner. They can't be in the same corner. And then once you're down to one person, that person is it. And then you just play again. And it's a great activity for indoor recess or for a substitute to celebrate Thanksgiving and to have fun at the same time. So weren't those freebies awesome? Just start downloading them. I have the links down in the info links. And it's always so nice to leave positive feedback, especially for freebies. And follow these teacher authors because obviously they're awesome giving out freebies. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I just hope it's the best this year. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, whatever. And see you later. Bye-bye.